AI tools for developers are getting out of hand. In this video, I will show which AI tools I am actually using daily and how they are dramatically changing my coding process. First and foremost is GitHub Copilot. Copilot is an AI coding assistant that feels like ChatGPT analyzing code as we write it and predicts what we want our next line of code to be. It is available as an extension in Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio, NeoVim, and the JetBrains suite of IDEs. While ChatGPT was trained on billions of parameters from various data sources to make it a well-rounded chatbot to random tasks, Copilot was trained on billions of lines of code. It uses this data combined with the context of our code to give developers code suggestions when starting a new line of code. We then have the option to hit tab and accept the suggestion. If it suggests something we don't want, just keep typing your code normally. Copilot will proceed to refine its context on your code and offer a new selection when you start a new line of code. Here are some examples of how Copilot speeds up my coding process. Let's say I am coding a URL shortener in Python. I can get Copilot to do the whole process by writing one comment and then accepting the code suggestions in gray by pressing tab. In 30 seconds, I have a functional Python link shortener. While coding simple programs from scratch from a comment is impressive, I find Copilot's actual value when I forget it is even there. Instead of starting the code out, seeing what Copilot can do without thinking, go about your coding process as normal. Use comments, write readable code, and Copilot will blow you away how often its code suggestions is exactly what you wanted to write. By using this approach, we can avoid the AI mistakes and reap all the benefits of less keystrokes and less cognitive battery drained through boring syntax. GitHub Copilot is definitely staying in my tool belt for the foreseeable future. With GPT-4 now available on ChatGPT+, obviously it is going to make the list of AI tools I'm using daily. The list of ways I use this powerful language model in my programming routine is extensive. Error handling alone by copy and pasting terminal error messages straight from terminal into ChatGPT saves me hours daily that I used to spend on Stack Overflow, sifting through irrelevant information before finding my solution. If this was all it was doing for my development workflow, I would be satisfied by that alone. In reality, the list of ways I use ChatGPT to build applications faster goes far deeper. I also use ChatGPT to write all the code to start out a project where possible. In another video, I showed how to take a Python program and turn it into a fully functional web application. It can give impressive code results to the first prompt, but also can continue upgrading the original program. Beyond websites, people are using ChatGPT to code mobile and desktop applications, entire video games, and AI stock trading bots. The next way I use ChatGPT as a tool to make me a more efficient coder is feature implementation. If I am stuck in the code, not sure how to write the code to achieve my goal, I can copy my code block, write what I am trying to accomplish, and context of my code. ChatGPT will more often than not get me past the syntactical jargon and quickly understanding how to implement my idea with code. If I don't get a copy and paste solution, it will give me step-by-step -step details to implement my desired features. As shown in my ChatGPT clone in Django video, I am using ChatGPT to completely code my website CSS where possible. Using this method, I copy and paste hundreds of lines of CSS and only write minimal tweaks. This saves me not only time, but thousands of keystrokes. Anything that prolongs my developer-induced carpal tunnel is appreciated. I also can use ChatGPT to improve my already existing code. Let's say I code up a program in Python and it's a bit slower than I would like. I can paste code blocks or entire Python programs and ask ChatGPT to explain how my code can be improved to perform faster. I could even ask ChatGPT to give me multiple iterations of code it thinks will run faster and using the time library in Python I can test to see which code runs fastest, all while not having to write multiple versions of my code to A-B test. Another common problem I have as a software developer is implementing unfamiliar open-sourced code into my projects. Researchers in the software field are constantly releasing open-source software for us to use in our projects. The problem is, these projects aren't always documented so well for mere mortals like us to comprehend. These researchers tend to make their discoveries and get onto their next research project, rather than write beautiful, easy-to-digest documentation that gives us a breadth of knowledge on their code. To overcome this issue of amazing code blended with dog water documentation, I can use ChatGPT to explain the code for me. Another time saver is using ChatGPT to add comments to my code for others to understand. I can also write entire tutorials on my programs by just asking ChatGPT to do so and pasting in the code. While nothing up to par for a video script, this is a simple text-based tutorial that I can put in a Notion document and share with other programmers I'm collaborating with to quickly get them up to speed with code. Research is obviously a huge part of the job of a software developer. Sometimes we don't need to go read some textbook on a technology concept, but rather just need a high-level explanation of the technology. 
While fact-checking ChatGPT is still highly recommended, I use this to help me understand how to solve new problems with code. This commonly saves me a lot of time on Google, and in seconds gets my brain working in the right direction to accomplish my goal. My research flow only gets better when I use it as an assistant for deeper understanding of learning material. Even if I am going through a full video course software tutorial, I commonly run into issues or encounter questions not being answered by the material. If they speak about a concept but don't go into detail on what it is, I can ask ChatGPT to explain in more detail. ChatGPT is by no means a one-stop shop for learning to code, but having it as one more tool in my belt undeniably makes coding and expanding my skill set faster. Bing AI is another valuable AI tool that I have come to appreciate. While I use ChatGPT more often, Bing AI having access to current data through the internet is extremely helpful. Whenever I am researching a technology that I need data after 2021, I obviously can't get it on ChatGPT. Bing uses their search engine to compile data that it uses when responding to our prompts. If I want to research a new software tool, recently I make it a habit to give Bing a try. It is nowhere near perfect, at times will give completely false answers, but for general questions that I want a short and simple answer to, having GPT built into a search engine absolutely saves me time. Unlike ChatGPT, Bing will give me citations to its claims. It links back to the site it got answers from so I can fact check the GPT response easily. Bing is certainly not replacing Google for me, but it does prove to be a faster way to find information in niche use cases. It's free to use, and I've even shown how to use Bing AI in your Python projects with a reverse-engineered API. Edge GPT is open-sourced and easy to use. As we've seen in this video, AI tools have revolutionized the programming process, making it faster and more efficient for us to create practical applications with code. The AI tools that we've explored, namely GitHub Copilot, ChatGPT, and Bing AI are contributing to my development workflow in huge ways every day. As AI technology continues to advance, we can expect newer and more advanced AI tools that will help us push the boundaries of what's possible in software development. These tools are not a replacement for human intelligence and creativity, but rather an aid that enables us to do our jobs faster. With these AI tools at our disposal, we can focus on solving complex problems and innovating technical solutions rather than spending hours writing tedious code. This has been AI Austin. I will see you in the next episode.